In this video, we're going to be creating a slash balance command for our economy discord bot. With this command, users can not only see their own balance, but also the balance of other members. If you've missed the previous videos in this series and you want to know how to set up an economy discord bot like this, I'll have the full playlist linked down below. Let's start by creating a new file inside our commands folder and I'm going to create it inside the economy folder and call it balance.js. Our command file, as usual, will be exporting an object and this object will first of all have the data property. So the name of this command is of course balance. The description is going to be check your balance and then we're also going to have options. Now we're only going to have one option which is going to be target user. The description of this is going to be the user whose balance you want to see. The type needs to be of user. So what we're going to do is we're going to import something from Discord JS. We need to import application command option type. And this will help us set a type much more easily. So we can set this to application command option type dot user. Now this option is going to be optional, which means if this is not provided, we're just going to give back the balance of the person who ran the command. So let's set up our run function. Also make sure that your run function is asynchronous. Now before we write any code inside here, let's go ahead and import our user profile schema. This is going to be from the schemas folder and we're going to use this to of course fetch the profile of the user who either ran the command or the person who was mentioned. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to check if the command was not executed inside a server. So I can say if not interaction dot in guild and so if this is the case we are just going to go ahead and reply to the interaction and we're going to say this command can only be executed inside a server. I'm also going to set ephemeral to true so the message is dismissible and only the person who ran the command will be able to see this reply. Also make sure to return from this function. Now what we want to do is we want to get the user ID of whose balance we want to check. So this can either be the person running the command or the person who was mentioned. So I'm going to say const target user ID and I'm going to set this to interaction.options.get user and this user is going to be from this option. So let's just go ahead and set this to that. And this may or may not exist. So let's add optional chaining dot ID. Now, if this does not exist, which means if no person was mentioned, then we're just going to set this to interaction.user.id. Now let's go ahead and defer a reply. So I'm going to say await interaction.defer reply. And I'm also going to add a try catch block. Inside the catch, I'm just going to console log and say error handling slash balance. And then I'll pass in the error itself. Inside the try block, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fetch the user profile. So I'm going to say let user profile and set this to await user profile dot find one. And we're going to find it by the user ID, which is, of course, our target user ID. Now, this may or may not exist. So let's say if not user profile. Now, for this, what you can do is you can either create a new user profile or you can just reply and say that no user profile was found. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new user profile. So I'm going to set this to user profile equals to new user profile. And inside, of course, we're going to pass in the user ID, which is target user ID. And now we're going to edit this reply to show the balance. So let's say interaction dot edit reply. And there's two types of messages that could be sent. If the person running the command is checking their own balance, in that case, we want to send a message saying your balance is X. However, if a person is checking somebody else's balance, then we want to mention that person and say that their balance is X. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to be using a ternary operator. So we're going to say if target user ID exactly equals to interaction dot user dot ID. And if this is the case, we're going to set this to your balance is and then, of course, our user profile dot balance. However, if this is not the case, we can add a colon and return a different string. In this case, I want the person to be mentioned, but they're not going to be pinged because this is an edited reply. So we can add target user ID and we can say their balance is user profile dot balance. So that's pretty much it. Let's save our file and try to run our bot. So I'm going to use node index.js. 
and this should now register our balance command. So let's head over to Discord and try to run our balance command. Now, first, I'm going to try to check my own balance. So I'm going to run the command. And here it's going to say your balance is 34. However, if I try to run it again, but I try to mention somebody, so I'm going to try to mention my friend, it's going to say that their balance is zero. However, my friend didn't actually have a profile. So what it did was it created a new profile and it set its default balance to zero. So that's pretty much it. If you're having any issues, then be sure to join my discord, which will be linked down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.